Monstering. Welcome to another episode of My Singing Monsters Live, and as promised, we have a very special guest. Monster Handler Mike has returned. Woo! Hey. Hola. Welcome back. Thank you. And we've got some pretty exciting stuff to talk about today, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Monster Handler Mike, do you mm -hmm. want to kick us off? What happened today? Uh, you know, just a little thing called Thumpies Return. Pew, pew, pew. Yes, a game that came out, was it 14 years ago? It was. A long time ago. It was. Ago. And I think we really got the, the My Singing Monsters community with all of our little teasers that none of you picked up on yep. till the very end. I think we did <laughs> yeah. good. I think we did good. It took you a while to catch on. But you got there, and that's all that matters. So, I mean, we've got lots of exciting stuff about Thumpies to talk about. I know Monster Handler Mike is very eager to hop into the game and give you a little bit of like behind the scenes look at, at the making of and the playing of. I can see him, he's ready, yes. he's ready to go. Yes, and just, just I know I'm tapping here on, on a laptop here, yes. which we will be playing off of a developer build that is, that is on PC, uh, oh, just, just to make it clear. Game is only available for iOS and Android. It is platform only. exclusive. You may have heard those terms before in the gaming world. I don't know. But for our very special playthrough, we're here with our dev build. Monster Hunter David, would you mind popping our beautiful game on? Just wait. Don't do it Wait yet. a moment. Because <laughs> Ben needs to. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. We always I have, have technical sign difficulties in. here on MSM Live. Of course. I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with the technical difficulties. It makes difficulties it more fun. That inc are encountered in. And then I have to. Oh, oh great. You were in a, you were. It's an awkward <laughs> position. Oh, no. <laughs> Off to a great start. It's okay. Please hold, everyone. So you, I should have just let you sit here, can't you? Or you could have told me your password. Oh. Could, no, I never know. share our password. No, never share your password. Always. No, no. no. <laughs> okay. I'm All right. Woo! It's done. All yeah. right. Let's throw it up on the screen. Yay! Hey. Oh. oh. Uh, uh. Yay! Yay! Yeah, we'll go back. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, Monster Handler Mike, if you want to like talk a little bit about this, a little bit about the why, why did we want to remake Thumpies? Um, well, as as I said, my or my thing, well, I guess Thumpies came out 14 years ago, and if you do your math correct and do all the, the counting backwards, that's actually before My Singing Monsters. It was. Oh, yes. Yes. It was, yeah. yes. 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 As, as I said to Tyson the other day, uh, much like the domino meme of the, the man pushing the small domino, which then would hit the big domino in the back, if a thumpy did not thump, would the monsters have sang? We'll I've never, never know. thought about know. it like we'll that. Never. Wow, we. Uh, yeah, so uh, I know for for the team, it's it's been something, especially Monster Handler Matt, that that was brought up time and time again of like, you know, it'd be great to, to bring back Thumpies in some capacity, and then uh, yeah, uh, just recently, I guess last summer is when we started it. Uh, we decided, yeah, let's bring it back in a new remastered form, give it a nice shiny coat of paint. Oh, and it is shiny. I yes, love the it new graphics. It is shiny. Um, so, so I guess speaking of new graphics, maybe I'll just jump into a level here. Now, as you see here, everything is unlocked in this developer build. This is not what that. it'll look like when you <laughs> first get in here. You'll have to work your way up the great tree. And I want to just see who yeah, is on this one. Well. Well. Yeah. And, improved and look, you guys recognize newbie and fur face from my singing monsters. And then, of course, which you you guys teased with. We yes. did. And I did see that the eagle-eyed viewers eventually picked mm -hmm. up on that. We hit it well, but you eventually got it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I will show you my personal favorite thumpy while we're in here. You can see all these, these cute guys. Yep. Uh, where is Boo? This Ooh. is my favorite. A real glow up if I ever did see one. I would have to agree. I mean, all of them. But Jen, what's your favorite? Mine's definitely Chesh. Ooh. Big cat lover. Yes, of course. You love the cat. Look at that <laughs> yeah. ferocious cat. Very ferocious, but also very nice. Yeah, exactly. So we got we got all the original thumpies plus, as we said before, we have the Woot 
scoops and butter, mm -hmm. or butter, which never originally made it. They were they were concepted, but they they just never came to the original game. That's a pretty exciting addition. Yeah. Yes, it is. It was nice to, to get them in here. The other ones Ooh. here that I'll tease, and you and you you'll get to see them on your own, is one change that we did make in trying to modernize Thumpies is we wanted to create sort of a score system that rewarded you for your um, you know, perfection and, and whatnot. So based on your performance in a song, let me do, let me do, Heat Jumper. This uh, is a good yes. one. And, oop, let me get this up over here. Uh, so expecting an FC? Oh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> oh, there we go, I'm a pro. So based on your performance here at the top, you can see you earn points in the back end, technically. Mm. Um, oh, or you broke your point. Yeah, I know, for getting successful. And when you miss, you actually lose score. <gasps> so based on this, you earn a star. I got a gold star. Which nice. Is bronze, silver, gold. Uh, gotta get, Good first attempt. Got to get my butterflies, which is how you unlock them. And so that was one of the, like, the biggest changes I'll say that we made to the game like we wanted to make it so that if you played that original game it basically felt like the exact same game that you played there obviously just bringing it back and giving it a modern look but yeah we made the change that felt like a modern sort of gaming change a lot has changed in games since 14 years ago right of course no, yeah. and so by giving this um, you know bar of, of perfection to achieve it gives it something you know that you can go back and replay levels and, and try to improve on and you actually get a tangible benefit from uh, and who doesn't love a good rhythm game yeah exactly right i know i do i'm not very good at them but i like them and you know when you're collecting these nice stars it gives you some bragging rights so as i was saying to follow back to the thumpies uh, that we saw there as another bonus for you based upon is you'll unlock basically, we call them like trophy thumpies, which are metallicized versions Ooh. of four of the thumpies, which when we were there, you could have saw what they were. We did have their names. Uh, so I think, it's, I think it's a bronze movie, Macy's in there. Is it? Oh, uh, Macy's. Well, you'll have to unlock those on your own to see those glow up. Yes, yeah. yes. But they're pretty cool, I can tell you. So Monster Handler Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about why, you know, we decided to kind of put a fresh coat of paint on Thumpies. Why did we want to bring that back? <laughs> well, uh, so, you know, one of the things with many different platforms and whatnot is uh, technology changes, and unfortunately, as technology changes, uh, some older apps and games that we have. Uh, they need changes to them uh, in order for them to still stay up on the stores and whatnot. And a lot of the times it's like, you know, we'd love to do that work to keep them live on the store, but a lot of the times the systems that they're built on don't necessarily allow us to easily make those changes to keep them up. So Thumpies, unfortunately, was one of those games that fell prey to um, let me do another thing. Oh, we do have the expert here. Um, so Thumpies was one of those that kind of fell prey to that. And yeah, it, it was something that we've seen time and time again. Obviously, I know uh, for those who remember my previous stint here, I was for formerly in marketing with all of you. It's true. And so I definitely saw, oh, this is where we're going to get more difficult, a lot of the calls for, I want Thumpies to come back. And it's funny, even when we were in production on the game, I think it happened like four or five times where they would pop back up. Not of us like teasing it even, of just, I know Matt Shea did a video recently while we were actually in production. And it's one of those things of like, okay, it's good to see that there is this desire for the game to return, right? Absolutely. So that's why we wanted to bring it back. It's like a nice little homage to the monster community, to anybody who's been playing for a long time, to anybody who's maybe new and just learned about Thumpies. There's never been a better time to hop into the monster world, if you ask me. Yeah. 
And it also, oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say it also mm -hmm. serves as like a, a kind of like legacy point within monsters as well, right? Absolutely. Now I do know we've already we've already kind of given the disclaimer that it is available on App Store or on Google Play. We've also heard some rumors that there may be some sort of a Missing Monsters crossover, maybe a little reward to unlock in game. Yeah. Perhaps you could shed some light on yeah. that. Yeah, so one thing that we did want to reward players with is, you know, we're always looking ways for to give back to the community, if you will. And to, you know, our lawyer handler helpers, one thing that we wanted to do was have a reward that tied back to my same monsters for if you were to purchase thumpies. And so if you do, when you first boot up the game, actually I wonder, I don't know, it's probably not gonna trigger in this, um, you'll get a little prompt once you've completed the tutorial. Technically it's if you collect a certain amount of butterflies, which you should collect during the tutorial. You'll unlock Foot and Butters in the game. Uh, and once you do that, then you'll get a prompt to actually unlock them within uh, My Singing Monsters proper. So all you have to do is, is click that and it'll take you to MSM and that's when you'll unlock it. Now the one thing that is important to note, and we, we do you know, have a thing in place for this, is you do need to have My Singing Monsters installed to obviously have that communication. But we know you all of my yeah. scene. Exactly, we weren't, we, so weren't that too worried. A we weren't too worried. And if you if you don't for some reason, um, and you miss the initial prompt or whatever, it stays on your home screen for a day, so you'll have time to redeem it. I think a day is long enough to, to download it if, if maybe you don't have it already. And I will say, there is the Foot and Butters costume, which you'll get in, in MSM, but, for those who are up to the challenge and want to go the distance, there may be a nice little bonus for completing the game as well. Oh, well, I don't know too much about that. Monster Hunter Ben, I guess we're gonna have to finish Thumpies. I guess so. After we finish on MSM Live, <laughs> yeah. I need to know what this little reward is at the end. I mean, I'll do it right now. <laughs> uh -oh, watch out, everybody. Now, Monster Hunter Mike, I know that you did mention that we did want to, you know, reward anybody who who is playing Thumpies in My Singing Monsters. And, you know, we have seen some of the things out there that are like, oh, is this going to be available on Steam or anything like that? As of right now, don't really have any plans, I don't think, to be releasing on other platforms at this time. No. Um, and it is exclusive to the to anybody who has you know been able to to purchase and play Thumpies. You know we wanted to give those players like an experience. You know we we worked really hard to put that fresh coat of paint on that game. We hope that you love it just as much, if not more, than you love the original Thumpies if you were a player. So I think it's a pretty great reward. Yes, yes it is. And and like you said, currently the only way that you're going to be able to get Foot and Butters in My Singing Monsters is through Thumpies. But as you said, some people have said, well, how do I collect the costumes on all the, mm -hmm. on all the islands? And as, as Monster Handler Matt was saying earlier, it is one of those things that you know, eventually down the road, there, there may be you know, opportunities um, to, to uh, get it in game. Yeah. But uh, for the time being, it is exclusive to Absolutely. purchasing Thumpies. And a pretty great exclusive, if you ask yeah. me. Uh, I'm gonna play Steel Nuts, which is a hard song, um, but it is it is one of my it is one of my favorites. Look at all those Thumpies, Thumpies. In, <laughs> in the is that game. the canon name Thumpy Stumpies? Because I like that. Yes. We got five to control here. My I, goodness. Oh, there's gonna oh be there's gonna be multiple Thumpies in here. It's gonna be difficult for me. Oh my You're gonna do it. We won't distract you. I need to figure out the best way to position my fingers there we go <laughs> this would be much easier on the mobile apps as right. the game was intended to be played yes a little bit different this one is also a song that you're also is, not listening to it which is yes does make it harder it does make it harder yes it is a rhythm game after all oh my goodness we've got four bouncing around here this is one of the reasons i love this song though is as you can see, I was struggling at the beginning, and that's oh, because now you're getting into the groove. Well, it's yeah. it's what you'll notice with Thumpies. It's a unique rhythm game in that I often find 
earlier in the song when you may have less thumpies it's actually much more difficult mm. because the way that you build the song is you don't get that like full rhythm until sometimes they're all there and once they're there it's like a very you know nice pattern that's easy Absolutely. to follow and everything but at the beginning you're like oh no i don't know which beat but at the beginning end. at the beginning your brain breaks a little bit being like oh where does this go yeah. um and so there we go there we go i'm back in the groove i'm back in the groove i think you're gonna beat your score i believe in you do, 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 do. i also like this one because um in this one if i'm not mistaken I believe the drums that they use are steel drums, and I think that's why it's called Steel Nuts. Uh, and they just sound so fun and unique, so that's that's actually why this is my favorite song to play. That's awesome. So I'm not getting the best part of it by not actually having... Mm. <laughs> by not actually having... Actually, uh, we do have trouble yes. uh, getting into the groove of the song. We do have a feature that will let you kind of... Get used to the rhythm before attempting the level for real. Oh, and, well, and that could be helpful. Off in the top corner there. Yes, I'll, I'll trigger this. So this was another change that we did make to the game of to help you learn songs is we wanted to create, we call it a, an assist mode. Yes, and I believe it helps you uh, get the groove of the song, but also you can't beat the level like this? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's totally just for training? Yes, so um, basically the way it works is it will play um, continuously. Like I, can, I could be in here for five minutes if I wanted to. And it really is just, you know, one of the challenges with Thumpies, the way that they drop down and are bouncing all over the, the screen, is it, it can be difficult and challenging to some people to pick up on what the rhythm is because you don't have them following in, in the more traditional um, rhythm game style. And so we made this Guitar Hero-esque <laughs> um, you know, UI element that we call I'm going to need to use this to practice, that's for yeah. sure. But um, I, it really helps. I was playing it earlier and like, did not get the rhythm on even like the fourth or fifth level. <laughs> <one. laughs> but, but this helped. I, it but assisted I got, you. I got there. <laughs> and I will say, like, you know, uh, I'm sure there will be some people out there that, that cause I know I was this way when I first was going through and, you know, playing all the, the levels and everything. They're challenging, uh, especially if you're, if you're, uh, you don't have a rhythmic bone in your body like mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. it can be challenging. Um, but you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Yes. They do say Indeed. that. Yes. And it is definitely the case, uh, with this game in that. Uh, you might not you might not say this from watching my performance here with my silvers that I'm achieving, but let me tell you, I'm a, I'm a gold platinum player at this point. I believe it. And, I've seen it. And it's because I've probably played each level like I don't know like 50 to 100 times at this point. So the format is holding you back for sure. Yes, yes. So how many stages and how many thumpies are in this My Sing Monsters Thumpies mm, version? There are. Now, don't 100% hold me to this because, you know, I don't want to be slightly wrong and then you say, Michael lied to us. Um, but I believe there are 17 uh, levels, we'll call them. Uh, and within that, there are 83 stages. Wow. So, so lots of challenges yes. to beat and overcome. 83 stars nice. to earn. Well, you completionists out there, I'm waiting. Yes, Wait. and they are all, we got all the original oh, tunes from the original Thumpies in there. Like I said, that was the big focus with us, is we wanted it to have everything that the original had. I had to slow down my speaking there to focus on all these. <laughs> we ask you the worst questions at the worst time. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna get bronze. I'm gonna get bronze. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I did it. Woo! Really went from my really off. went from my platinum to my bronze there. To... It's okay. Well, that's awesome. Is there anything else you want to say about the development of Thumpies or any of the process or anything? Um, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll I'll 
give you some more little behind the scene things on these last two uh, stages here. But um, it was a definitely a, a, a different development process than I think most um, most games that we go through in that with it being a remaster, so many of the you know things that and, and problems that you have to think about and, and solve in, de in development were already done for us, right? It's like we knew what the levels were, we knew what the characters were, we knew what the music was. And so a lot of the challenge I think came, and fun of the development came from like trying to think for how we could elevate the experience. So that was, you know, changing to the star system to give some replayability and, you know, something that players could show off Absolutely. to to their friends. And then it was the assist mode, like we said, to to help onboard people a bit um, easier. And, you know, I'm not going to show it, but once again, I will allude to some fun things of when, I'll just say, when you beat the game, some fun things happen. Um, especially if you master the game. It just, oh, uh, is that all like thing. platinums? Yes, all platinums. I've got a challenge yeah, got to, to, yes. to go here. And not to mention that all of like the 2D thumpies have been brought into 3D. Yes. Yeah. Which is very exciting. Yes, it was a great opportunity to finally unite the Thumpyverse within My Singing Monsters proper. Look at right. those scores. Yeah, you know, I, I did really good there yeah. on two and three. <laughs> we had some challenges on four and six. That's because we were making you talk. Let's not talk about it. You know, uh, multitasking. It, yeah. Yeah, it is it's it hard. is what it is. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I, the more I played the game in development, it was like, it was every week, Oh, it's feeling better and better and looking better and better. And every time we'd get a new Thumpy in, it was just like, I could not believe the glow up that we went through, um, you know, with every Thumpy across the board. They all just look so dang they do. good. I love it. Even like the original, like Nubian Furface, they just, they've really come to life with their, their new 3D looks, as with all, of course, the other Thumpies as well. No, so it's, you know, it was it was definitely fun to be a part of it and and just really fun. Like I said earlier, I think when we were talking at the company sort of meeting, it was, yeah, I think Thumpies is, is really like uh, one for the community, you know, mm -hmm. just being able to, uh, so many people have wanted to play it and experience it. And it was always kind of sad that, you know, it had kind of, faded off into the distance and just there was no way to experience it. So it's just very nice to be able to bring it back for people. Well, thank you so much for all that insight and for being such an awesome producer for My Singing Monsters Thumpies. And thanks for coming back and hanging out on MSM Live, Monster Handler Mike. Round of applause. Thank you. Round of applause, Round of applause for me. I am so awesome. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, I think that's going to lead really nicely into our next segment, which is yeah. all about Thumpies. All about Thumpies. Some more news. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna roll back one slide. So it's Thumpy Palooza, and I'm so right. glad nobody heard me make all of those mistakes. Oh my goodness, what oh. is happening? <laughs> so in my 
Thumping Monsters. We are celebrating Thumpy Palooza. <laughs> We're playing thumpies, so... Yes, I was actually playing some thumpies. I am great at the game, but I was bad when I first started. <laughs> but yes, I am here now. Monster Handler Charlie. <laughs> Moving on! Moving <laughs> on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, and now. as we were talking about earlier, you get an exclusive, an exclusive Boot and Butters costume in My Thing Monsters if you purchase and play through My Thing Monsters Thumpies That's Remastered. Right. Super duper easy yeah. to redeem. The first yep. thing you're gonna wanna do, buy the new Thumpies game on your device. And you know what? I'm sure lots of you have already done that. So mm -hmm. step one already complete. Now, the next step is just finish the tutorial. I believe that was the yep. first two levels, depending yep. on the butterfly count. Yeah, and that's when you unlock Foot and Butter as playable characters in Thumpy. Yep, so great. it just yeah. makes sense, you know? Shift that into my singing monsters. And then yeah, after you've done that, you're gonna tap on that specially marked button to claim your costume for Thumpies and My Singing Monsters. It's gonna take you to My Singing Monsters, and you know what? You're gonna have your costume. Yep. I think that's all Pretty great reward. There's it's really there's easy. Easy as uh, Thumpies. Oh. Easy as, uh, one, two, Thumpies. Yes. <laughs> that's, okay. that's right, Monster Hunter Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right. <laughs> and up next. Moving on. Prismatic Thumpies can't forget about those. That's right. Thumpyverse, so that's pretty great. We are having some technical difficulties. Please bear with us, handler helpers. We appreciate your patience. Just having, you know, some classic MSM Live technical difficulties. I blame. Classic the herd of Boscus in the room. They mm -hmm. are once again messing up our internet and audio and just a little yep. bit of everything. They're very pesky sometimes. Oh, uh, yes, it's yes. true. It's, it's definitely true. void it's corn. always void always corn. Same. <laughs> are we back up and running, Monster Handler? David, perfect. All right. Um, I don't know what you all heard or didn't hear, so I'm gonna go over this one more time. We have a 50% off young and adult Thumpy sale on the continent outer islands in Dawn of Fire. That's right. So like I said, it's Thumpy Palooza everywhere, in the monster world, in the Thumpyverse, in Dawn of Fire, in the whole monster everywhere. multiverse. Yep, it's just really great seeing all these things interconnect and come together. Yeah, I love it. So, so yeah, that's Thumpy Palooza. Thumpy Palooza, two weeks. For <sighs> two weeks. For two weeks, that's right. For two weeks, uh. 14 days. Okay, so. We are gonna answer so. some live Q&A in just a moment, but first we've got some pre-selected pre questions. Everybody say oh. hello to Monster Handler Allie, who is taking questions from the chat. She is killing it over there. We got Monster Handler David over here running the show. Everything is great. Let's answer some questions. <laughs> here we go. Let's hear some questions. Monster Handler Charlie, why don't you uh, why don't you start us off here? Uh, yeah, sure. Is uh this one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just being, just making sure. Okay. So, at Bro Skull asks, in Vention's bio, it mentions that they plan to escape the workshop into the great beyond. And in the Workshop Wave 3 trailer, it shows how Monster Handler Tyson entered the workshop. So, that leaves me the question, is it really possible for any monster to leave or enter the workshop? Oh. This implies Tyson is a monster. Yes, it does, I believe. I think that's yeah. exactly <laughs> what that um, I think Monster Handler Matt already kind of talked about, like, no, they're, they're not really able to escape, even if they may be plotting to. Um, really, I think it's only us, the Monster Handlers, who know how to enter and exit the monster world and the monster Yes, verse. that's right. Um, but I don't think we're going to share how we do that, because that's kind of like our secret little Trade secret. thing. Yeah, only monster handlers know that for now. Um, but that's okay. Um, we could always try to like let nature run its course. We don't really like to interfere with what's going on in the monster world. We, we like everything to kind of happen naturally. We don't want to impede anything. So we kind of just watch from afar. That's so we're right. gonna wait and see what happens. That's right. Yeah. Uh, monster handler Ben, why don't you uh, kick off the next question? All right, from Yuki the Monster Guardian 2337. Ooh. What is a group of fiddles called? <laughs> That's a great question. I know the answer to this. Yes. It is called a Kaylee. Oh. Does anyone know why? Because uh, that is a 
festival or a holiday. Yeah, it's like yeah. a Scottish-Irish celebration, lots of dance, lots of festivities, a time for celebration. And fiddles love to celebrate Cloverspell. That's right. And you know, I think, is a Cloverspell coming up soon sometime? Oh, it must be. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm not wearing a watch. Bah, I don't know. Eh, who knows? Um, oh, this might be a good question for Monster Handler Ben. Perhaps. Uh, from Ratchet... Nope, that's not right. Ratchet Robocat 3488. How do Night Bear's cables function? Or are they purely for aesthetic? Well, I suppose I can be uh, the official source for information <gasps> on the Night Bear. Because you did voice yes, Night I did. Bear. I am him. Yes, you are Night Bear. But I believe that it is not just purely there for aesthetic. Due to its partly mechanical nature, Ooh. it actually needs to plug itself in <gasps> to charge. Oh. oh. Okay, so in theory, does that mean that like perhaps when the monster's sleeping or you know, yeah. when it runs out of charge, it's gotta plug into the wall to gain that charge? Yes. So that it continue to sing with all of its friends? Yeah, it definitely well, needs. It makes perfect nice. sense. That's kinda nice. We all need to recharge our batteries once yeah. in a while. Why can't the night bear do it? He really needs it. You heard he it really first needs it. From, from the source, mm -hmm. from the voice. Mm -hmm. Ben, does that mean you go home and plug yourself in? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Ben's a robot. You heard it here You first. heard it here. I mean, have you, have you heard me before? Sometimes I like yeah. to think that my bed is like a charging plate, oh, and no. I lay on top of it like a cell phone. I'm yeah, I, wire, <laughs> I wirelessly charge in bed. Okay, so we got, go this, we got this next question from Rizekzek. That's a good, that's a I good. I don't know how to say that. That's okay. You, okay. Um, since Reedling and Blablet, Blabbit both um, breathe by playing their sounds, do they feel any pain or discomfort, discomfort while idle? No, they do not. No. no. Have you ever sang before? Have you ever hummed a little tune? Did you know you can sing and breathe at the same time? Because I found that out today. That's right. <laughs> so don't fear. They are not in pain. And actually, yeah. I'm pretty sure that Blabbit like holds a record for being able to hold their breath for a really long time. 26 yes. minutes. And Blabbit, uh, sorry, uh, Reedling can hold their breath for 26 minutes, and Blabbit can hold theirs for an hour and four minutes. That's impressive. Mm. I'm going to try and beat I that score. I would pass out <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after like too. 30 seconds. But can confirm professional singers can breathe while they're singing. That's good to know. Kind of like bagpipers. I, otherwise, I would be concerned for their health. Bagpipers, they can breathe. Oh, yeah. play at the I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Monster Hiller Ben, why don't you read the next <laughs> one? <laughs> uh, from Mario Gamer 0119 What will happen if Epic Rudetoot's arms are broken or lost? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I don't want them to get broken or lost. What do you think, Monster Hunter Charlie? You got any theories about this? I think that they would either repair uh, or make new ones. Um, Epic, uh, Epic Rudetoots are actually like constructors constructors of their own arms. <gasps> oh, I have mm. heard that. So, so they could easily just like make new ones. But I'm sure that they can get help from other monsters in putting their arms back together. Well, yeah, because so. all the monsters are pals. They got to help each other out, you know? That's if right. your arms fell off, I'm sure you know if your mm. friends would help you put them back on. I don't know if I'd know how. <laughs> <laughs> would you be able to construct new ones, Charlie? Yes, I'd try. All at least. right. Um, well, from Cuppy Cake with three E's, is Eureka's tongue part of its body or is it a whole entire different monster? Let's theorize mm. about this a little bit. Let's theorize about this yeah. a little bit. What do you think, Monster Hunter Ben? <laughs> I personally think that it's just part of its anatomy. Mm -hmm. It's got a, mm -hmm. mm. like a nice little symbiotic relationship, yeah. perhaps. But but doesn't it have a mouth? Yeah. <gasps> what? Something you a have mouth two mouths inside a mouth. Inception. Think of all oh. the food you could eat. Yeah. Oh, does that mean he has two stomachs? Oh. We can never be sure. I don't know, but you could eat twice as fast. Yes, <laughs> that's true. I'm into that idea. <laughs> what do you think, Monster <laughs> Charlie? Do you think it's it's part of the body? Is it something I separate? I'm gonna go on the other side and say that it's something separate, but we're Ooh. just not sure yet. And we're not sure, which is why we're constantly in the monster world observing, you know, seeing what's yeah. going on, taking our notes. Perhaps you guys have, have seen to. the inside of Monster Hunter yeah. Alley's little booklet when she goes into the monster world to take some, mm -hmm. do some, not not experiments, that's not the right word, expeditions, that's Expedition. the one. Maybe she'll have to <laughs> research. observe one research. sometimes. Research, thank you. One could say. Yeah, maybe the next yeah. time she heads into the monster world, she could take a little peekaroo and yeah. see what's going on there. We'll pass that on to her. Yeah, we'll let her know. Uh, monster Miller Ben, what's up next? 
Uh, from Metal Man 0813. Metal Man. What uses are Epic Tweed... What? Epic Tweedle. Oh. Typo. Wait. What uses are Epic Tweedle... What uses Sorry. are Epic Tweedle's claws for? I'm okay. tripping over myself. That's okay. It was, it was a tough one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that much like bats in the human world, that they're able to actually dangle and have a little snooze, a little upside Ooh. down snooze. Have I, you ever had an upside down snooze? No. I think I'm going to have you know, to try. You've never, <laughs> you've never like slept backwards on your bed though? But that's like, not upside down. Yeah, but it's like as close as you can get. Without, like, I suppose. Now, I do want to add that I think just because they could have an upside down snooze doesn't necessarily mean that they like to do that. I'm pretty uh, sure enough. that they like to have right side up snoozes, upright snoozes. <laughs> right side up. It's like probably that healthier for them. Um, yeah, that's why they have the little horns. They can hang off them and have a nice peaceful sleep. That's my theory. I don't know. I like that theory. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, it's good. Who doesn't love a good snooze? Okay, this next one is from Nadley5438. What is the process of Bazinga making a dimension? Does it take a day or months or years? Whoa. Whoa. Mm, well. Who, who got that kind of time? I think um, world, real world bees, they take between like three weeks, four months to create their hives. That's a long time. But, you know, Bazinga's creating it on such a grander scale. Probably takes longer. Must take right? longer. Probably like a few years at least. And I mean, I, as far as we know at this point right now, Bazingas are the only ones that are able to create different dimensions, right? They got to do that all by themselves. They don't got their little helpers to so do. That's going to take a long time. A long time. That's a great question. And you know, since Bazingas are so like recently discovered, we only discovered them what last September. Mm -hmm. There's still a lot we don't know about the Bazinga and how they are constructing these different dimensions. So I think we're gonna have to wait and see kind of how that one unfolds. I agree. Yeah. So those are some really great pre-selected questions. I think we maybe have time for one or two live questions. Yes. Let's see what yeah, Monster what is, Handler Alley has found for us. What have we got? Ooh, we've got some good ones here. Um, from Mean Man 2348, are thumpies able to swim? You know what? I don't know. Let's theorize yeah. about this a little bit. I'm gonna say, I think yes because I think they look like they can float much like a bob on a fishing line. Mm, like they, or, they yeah, bob up or a down. buoy. Oh, a buoy. You know, like where you see where it's like, oh, there's rocks over here and it's floating. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that constitutes as swimming. So yes. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. Like they just, like a ball. If you threw a ball in the ocean, it would, it would float. It would bob but up and down. But is floating and swimming the same thing? I would say. <laughs> that they can just naturally float. They're very buoyant. Yes. Very That's the okay. <laughs> but I'm going to go back on my own theory here because uh, I think thumpies come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, maybe so, some So don't. maybe some sink and while others float. I wonder if they But like none swim. Oh. Mm, yes. Oh. I wonder if they're like puffer fish, if they like Ooh, or blow yeah. fish. You know, they fill up their cheeks and they can like rise to the top and if they let all the air out, they can sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know? Like I believe there was one thumpy, the name is escaping me right now, but it had like metal spikes on it. Oh, it looked mace. like it was made of metal. Mace. mace, yeah. I bet he does not float. Mm. You know, he might be a little heavy. Yeah. Might yeah. Be a little less. I'm going to have to agree. So perhaps some can sink and some can swim. Yes. I think we're going to need to research this a little bit longer and a little bit harder. What yeah. do you think? I think so. All right, we're Maybe. sending we're sending in Monster Handler Alley. Now, I have been made aware that there were some super chats in here that we couldn't see because we can't actually see, but I do I do see them here. So shout out to Nova MSM. They say it's been amazing to see such a beloved game brought back to life with a complete overhaul. Everybody loves and appreciates all the work BBB does and will continue to do so. Thanks, you guys. That is oh, thank so you, Nova. Nice. Thank you. We're just glad that everyone's so excited for yeah. Thumpies and also just for the My Singing Monsters world in general. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we love how excited you are. That's what makes it great for us, right? We do it for you. So we're happy you like it. Yes. Um, from Treble Stroke, they say, I just want y'all to know that y'all brought back a plethora of childhood memories of mine with the remaster of Thumpies. I can't stop playing it. Nice. Oh. I wish Monster Handler Mike was here to hear that because, you know, I think it that that would just heart. make his day. Monster I'm Handler sure Mike, he's watching right now. That one was for you and everybody at BBB. Just want to jump in too. Nova and Trouble, uh, Trouble Stroke are both uh, content creators for MSM. Oh, so oh 
Oh. Well, Monster Handler David, if you couldn't hear, because I don't think he's got his god mic over there. Um, Nova MSM and Treble Stroke are both My Singing Monsters content creators. So go check out all of their stuff. Go check out their channels, their socials. See what they're up to. Because you know what? We love the content creators, especially My Singing Monsters content absolutely. creators. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. And then finally, from Four Number Lore Dude, Capital Dude. Hi, my singing monsters. <laughs> I'm letting you know dude. I'm making a fan-made island with my friend Wubba. It's for a contest for someone's best island. That is awesome. Ooh, that's cool. Please make sure that if you post your fan-made art, you use hashtag monsterpiece so that we can see it. Mm -hmm. That is our favorite thing. We love seeing fan-made monsters, fan-made islands, even just like re recreations of your favorite monster. Yeah. yeah. We love that stuff. So always remember, hashtag monsterpiece. Yep. And, and I think that that's pretty much all we have time for for questions and live chat. So thank you, everybody who submitted questions yes, prior, who gave us super chats. We super duper appreciate it. You're super. You're super. You're super. We're all super. super. Everyone's oh super. My. Thumpies Woo! is super. <laughs> that's true. All right. So what do we have up next on the docket? Oh, I think right. we've got some game features and sales coming up. Maybe talk about some stuff that's coming up in the game. Okay, yes. please wait one moment, please, for technical difficulties. <laughs> and we are back. And what a great slide to come back to limited so sales stuff. you got these teleport costumes can you tell us about it monster and charlie okay so you can uh now get, unlock your costumes and you can send them so if you unlock a costume on an island then you can teleport them to the coliseum with that costume um and which one's your favorite because i love the kazillion costume mm, that one is my favorite i really like good. the pango one because he looks like uh, cause it looks like a, like, villain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I'll get that Batman. <laughs> I also really, really like the Dragon one with, he's got like the symbols on that tail on the little feet there. Got a little helmet on. It's pretty cute. I kind of like the noggin. Oh. What are those? Look at those what shoesies. Are those? <laughs> what are those? What are those? So yeah, Zoom. make sure that you take advantage of the all dressed up promotion. Teleport costume is available to buy or breed or unlockable by teleportation to the Coliseum. That's Very right. exciting stuff. And this is all starting tomorrow. So we're just giving you a little sneak peek. We like to give you a sneak peek here on MSM Live. And what else have we got going on? So we've got the limited sale, 50% off Sugarbush and Sugar Buzz ooh, on the ooh. following islands. That's Plant and Sugarbush. You know, I don't think Sugar Buzz gets enough love. I just unlocked him. Love. Oh. I know that I say that a lot on all of the things I'm in, but I am constantly playing this game. It's true. Can confirm. <laughs> Put in the man hours. Monster Hunter Charlie's favorite game is, in fact, My Singing Monster. It's true. So make sure you take <laughs> advantage of this stuff of legend, Sugarbush and Sugar Buzz. 50% off on Plant and Sugarbush Island. And yes, we have the Quintessence Last Chance. So you can get Glowl, Krillby, Woolaby, Dromedary, and Rudatoot, your Amber Rerun winner. Woo! Get them before Woo. they're gone. I think they got uh, eight days, seven, mm, eight or seven days back. Got a little countdown timer going, so make yeah. sure you revitalize these vessels before this set disappears and the new one comes back. Mm -hmm. Wow, we. Oh, and of course, there's a Wildfires promotion. So, featured monsters is available in the Star Shop are Krillby and Dromedary and their rare forms. Yes, I did see I did see Krill, the uh, rare Krillby in the Star Shop there. And this is all part of our Fire expansion, which is awesome. And it's 50% off for the first seven days. So oh, that's great. That's a long time to get that 50% off. Make sure you get in there and get those monsters yep. while you can. I make feel like I'm at like an auction. <laughs> Here right we go. Now. Oh, yeah. So make sure you go and get your star uh, from your tribes and helping light, can uh, light your torches so you can get those in the star shop. Yeah. Ooh, and behind the facade, 50% off Fairy Island. 
It's almost like Clover yeah. spell is gonna start. So oh wow! Even it is... Pantera looks like. Yeah. Oh. So interesting. Next Clover week. spell is right around the corner, isn't mm. it? It's. I wonder if it'll align with a real world holiday that may be coming up at some point in the future. Hmm. Mm, bah. I don't know. Bah. Oh so yeah, 50% off Fairy Island. Get ready for Clover Spell to be coming at some point in the near future. I, I don't know when that could be. Who could never be out, sure? I guess. It's a good time. It's a great time. That's right. Yeah, so it's March. We got lots of exciting stuff coming up. We already gave you thumpies. We've got Clover Spell starting soon. We've got lots of, lots, of lots of deals, lots of sales. Yeah. Oh my. Monster Hunter and Charlie can't keep can't, up. I can't contain, I can't contain it. it. I'm already excited that I got the thumpy, the thumpies from unlocking playing it in thumpies and got it in my game. Yeah. Butter and um Fwoot. 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 Yeah. He was running around the office all day showing everybody, look what I got. Yeah. Look what I said, we did it. I said this could yeah. be you too. It's true. And it will be after this, huh? Monster mm, Handler yes. Bed. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all we've got time for. Monster Handler Ben and I need to skedaddle and go yeah. play some thumpies. We and I need to hone I mean. in my ability to get further in thumpies and get all of the thumpies. He's thumpies. Um, you are thumpies. a completionist. Yeah, we need okay. those costumes. I haven't started yet. I need to start. We're gonna start. It's gonna yeah. be a. It's gonna be a showdown, Monster Handler Ben. Mm. That's right. We got one more super chat just before we sign. Oh, up. One more chat? super chat. Ooh. I want to see. Oh, Cabwax! I remember you. I see it there. Nice. Cabwax was also a ultimate creator, uh, not ultimate creator, but a, a creator experience who created, I believe, a decoration. Mm. Yeah, um, the cabs wax. The cab wax. Nice. Thank you so much for that super chat. We really, really appreciate I it. I love the super chats. It's fun. Thank you yeah. so much, everybody, for tuning in to this wild episode of My Sinking Monster Never Blood. a dull moment. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Yeah. We hope that you love our My Sinking Monster Stumpy remaster as much as we do. We really, really wanted to do something awesome and special for our awesome handler helpers. So thank you so, so much. And I think we all know what we need to say. Mm, maybe. Happy, Happy Monstering! Monstering.